G'day. Just making a video to share my experience of my 73 day juice fast. So I finished my 73 day juice fast about three weeks ago. And uh, I can tell you that it was really challenging the first couple weeks. Um, emotionally trying to kick the habit of um, all the addictions like, you know, the, the sugar. What I was really craving was just hot cooked food. Uh, I found that it was like an emotional roller coaster. Uh, the fourth week, I started to get used to it. It kind of just turned into autopilot. I'm just walking around the back of my area, my house. And it's just dense forest. That's pretty cool. Um, yeah, so I found that it kind of just kicked into like autopilot the fourth and fifth week, sixth week. And then I, um, you know, it's, it's pretty hard if you live with other people and they eat like junk food and stuff. I'm pretty lucky because I live on my own so I kind of can control what, you know, I'm buying and stuff. I have done a juice fast before. I um, did a 40 day juice fast last summer and I found that that was actually a lot easier because I was traveling all around Australia just um, doing jobs uh, well, at the RAF bases, and um, I found that oh, I can hear something in the forest. I don't know what it is. Sometimes there's like big kangaroos and stuff. I'll try and get it on footage for you if I can see it. Oh, big wombat. Uh, yeah, I just found it a lot easier because I was really occupied. I was really busy, you know, like working flat out going back to the hotel room you know using what I could little kitchens I was really motivated and the weather was warmer because I was up north so it was actually a lot easier they're my little markings on the trees if you can see the pink markings because otherwise I get lost out here uh, yeah uh, definitely do your juice fast in summer if you're gonna do your juice fast if you see me looking around it's because I can hear noises looking down because it's quite a steep hill and I don't want to stack it. Uh, yeah, I highly recommend doing your juice fast in summer. Like where I live, it's really cold. Um, I live up in Mount Macedon in Victoria. So I find it's like so important to do it when it's hot because otherwise you're setting yourself up for failure. Well, anyway, myself, I don't know how these people do it where they live like, you know, in cold, snowing climates. The hats off to them. Um, I I found that um, towards the end, because I wanted to try and hit 92 days or 100 days, but I started to get really weak and tired towards the end. So um, I decided to break the fast. And another reason why I started to get really tired and fatigued and that is because I started taking MMS so my friend told me about MMS and I did a lot of research on it and I was so excited and I couldn't wait till the fast was over to start it so MMS is a solution of uh, hydrochloric acid and chlorine dioxide and you mix it together and it creates a solution that eradicates Epstein-Barr virus, HSV-1, HSV-2, AIDS, all of that sort of stuff anything it's it like heals it's like a miraculous um healing solution so because i've suffered with cold sores hsv1 and ebv epstein-barr virus which i believe is the main cause for almost all a high percentage of mystery illnesses you know like autoimmune and whatever because it just attacks the immune system, attacks the body. So I've learned a lot. Um, I did try the hydrogen peroxide therapy, but with the hydrogen peroxide therapy, you know, it takes longer. But I'm going off on a bit of a tangent here. The video is more about the juice fast. 
I'm just trying to work out the best way down. If it's so steep, I'll show you. Yeah, um, yeah, so anyway, took the MMS, got really weak and tired, so decided to break my fast. So I broke the fast properly, you know, eating fruit and stuff, but I was really craving just hot, a hot meal. Just hot food, like savoury food, you know. Just cooked veggies and potatoes and whatever. And um, what I found was my hydrochloric acid in my gut was really low. So my food wasn't digesting. And um, I'm now like three weeks post juice fast. Lost about 11 kilos. Um, I can put some photos up of before and after. I feel better, I feel lighter, I feel clearer. Uh, one thing I did do was, I think it was about week two or week three into the juice fast, I actually did a, a rise and shine cleanse while about three weeks into the juice fast. And I thought, you know, before I started the juice fast, I was about, about four or five weeks just fruit with Dr. Morse herbs. So I thought, oh, you know, I'm so clean because I've only been eating fruit and um, you know, my bowels have been moving really well, like amazing. And then three weeks in, I was like super clean, nothing coming out, you know, doing the enemas to get all the crap out. I'm like, okay, I'll do a rise and shine. I told my naturopath, she's like, oh, I don't think you need to do it. You won't have any mucoid plague. I'm like, yeah, I, I just feel like I need to do it. Because uh, as, as I was growing up as a, you know, young kid and that my parents didn't feed us very well we we're eating a lot of junk food uh like kfc maccas friend's father worked at cabri factory so he would bring back not bags but garbage bags full of um like chocolate like it was just terrible um yeah so he we, we would just eat like bagfuls of chocolate and our parents didn't care but, you know what crazy but um Anyway, did the mute, the cleanse, the um, Arise and Shine. And first week, nothing. I'm like, oh, yeah, cool. I'm clean. There's nothing coming out. Then the second week, a little bit was coming out. And then third week, there was so much mucoid play coming out. It was, like, insane. I was like, where is this even coming from? Uh, I think I moved maybe about five. I know it's gross and disgusting, but better out than in. Uh, I probably moved about five kilos of mucoid plaque. Um, you know, I watched other videos and stuff and people saying, oh, it's the psyllium husk, you know, because you combine psyllium husk and bentonite clay in water, shake it up and you drink it quickly before it turns into like a gel. And what that does is it pulls all the toxins out of your gut and the bentonite clay, it's like a binds to all the toxins and pulls it out of your your gut lining anyway moved about five kilos of that stuff couldn't believe it and then started to feel a lot better a lot lighter clear-headed and I did a lot of research on it, and they say that the mucoid plague like that's where all the parasites and the eggs live in so that's like disgusting so I was so glad to just get all of that out of me I felt my skin just got a lot clearer like I suffered with like severe acne all around here so and I'm like one of those people that you know can't help myself you know I've got to pop the pimples and that but um ever since I started you know cleaning my gut and having probiotics and stuff it's really cleared up my skin um I highly recommend doing the mucoid plaque cleanse I'll do it every year I, I, I'm just someone that I cannot I wish I could have the power to be fully raw but where I live, it's so cold and I just feel like really miserable if I'm eating raw food in a cold climate. So I'm just going to listen to my body and my mental health. Like I just love having soups and warm food in cold climate. So in the summers, I'll, that's when I'll aim to do my cleanses. Uh, yeah, so I'll, I'm going to aim to do my cleanses every summer. Uh, highly recommend the... The rise and shine cleanse and the juice fasting uh, I'll, I'll make another video what is this thing oh, spider uh, um 
yeah, I'll make another video on um, Epstein Barr virus and all the other stuff. Like, I also because I'm one of these people who like to be able to, um, what's the word, monitor my progress, like to see what's actually happening. I had a Ol Oligio scan done before I did the, the cleanse and after, and I also got my phase angle tested on a um, bio impedance machine. So it like kind of tests your phase angle. So that means how much hydration is inside your cell. Uh, I was actually really surprised. I thought my phase angle was going to skyrocket after the juice fast, but it didn't. So I'll do another video on that, on phase angle. Um, yeah, so it was a cool journey. I'll definitely do it again, uh, but only in the summer. I am not tough enough like these people that do it in the cold climate like as you can see this is like uh, I'll turn I'll turn the camera around uh, it's so it gets so cold up here um, wrong one it snows up here like I know I'm such a wuss but I um I definitely We'll have to do it in summer. But uh, thanks for watching my video. And I will definitely, you know, I've got to just find time, being quite busy, to upload like before and after photos and the um, Oligio scans before and after. And the phase angle scan as well. Some things did improve. Um, yeah, I'll go into another video with um, just heavy metals and all that stuff as well. Okay, goodbye.